What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Sponge Plugin Programming. In today's episode, we are going to be creating a command to display information about our skills, which includes the current experience, current level, and the amount of experience needed to reach the next level. So for this, we first want to create a brand new package that we are going to call commands, which is going to store all the classes relating to our commands. Now the first command that we want to create within this package, or the first class, is the skills command. And keep that open as well as our skill interface and our main plugin class. Now before we get into this command, we want to make a single addition to our skills interface class. So go ahead, navigate to that file, and right at the top of this interface, we want to create a string skills array. And this will contain the name of all of the skills that are within our plugin. So currently it's just mining, so we're just going to store mining in here. And what this is going to allow us to eventually do, and we will be using this later on in this episode, but it's going to allow us to easily access and utilize all the skill names by doing something as simple as skill, which is the name of the interface, dot skills. And the reason we can do this is because whenever you create a variable within an interface, it's always declared by default as a static final variable. So with that, that is all that we need to do with our skill interface class. Let's go on, head over to our skills command class and actually create this command. First, we want this class to implement, so implements a command executor. And currently it's going to tell us that we need to implement the execute method, which is currently not there. So let's go and implement that. For this, we want to override the current execute function and we want to override it with our own custom implementation of it so it can do exactly what we need it to do which is display information about our skills this is a public command result execute import that and this will take in two arguments a command source which we will call source, and a command context, which we will call args. Now to explain these, this command source variable, or this command source object, I should say, is going to give us what or who executed the command. So this could be something like the console, a command block, or for what we're going to be using it for, a player. And the second argument, the command context, will contain all the arguments that were passed in alongside the command. So if you're to do something like slash skills, then maybe a name of the skill, this right here will be passed in within this command context args variable. And this function can throw a command exception, so we want to throw on there the throws command exception. And since this is requiring a command result to be returned, we are going to return command result.empty if this command does not successfully get executed. Otherwise, we're going to return a success if the command is executed properly and does exactly what we want it to do, which is what we're going to work on now. The first thing we want to do is make sure that whatever is executing this command is actually a player. So you can do this with a simple if statement. So if source instance of player. So if the command source is an instance of a player, then we can go ahead and continue on with the execution of this code because we now know that it is a player executing the command. Now we want to create a few variables here, a player object, which will be equal to player or source being casted to player like so dot get player dot get and a uuid which we will call uuid and this is just equal to player dot get unique id and lastly an account object which is going to be equal to new account the main plugin class, which we will be adding in just a second here, an account manager, which again we will be adding in just a second, 
and the UUID of a player. With the variables created, we can now take advantage of that skills variable, the skills array that we created earlier, by throwing it into a for loop. So for string skill, then a colon skill dot skills. And what this for loop is going to do for us is it's every iteration, it's going to store a new skill within this string skill variable. So currently there's just mining within this skills array. So the first iteration, it's going to set skill equal to mining. But if we were to have another skill in there, like maybe fighting, it would, on the first iteration, set skill equal to mining. Then it would go through the second iteration, set skill equal to fighting, and then continue with the execution once all the skills have been gone through within that array. Now in here, we want to create a couple more variables, which will be the int experience. This will be equal to account dot get skill exp and this takes in a single argument which is just the name of the skill which will be skill thanks to our for loop here which is looping through each skill within this array then int level equals account dot get skill level and again takes in a single argument which will be the skill and the int exp to level and we're just going to hard code this in right now this will just be set to level times 100. And every time there is an iteration here, every time it gets looped through, we're going to send a message to the player. So player.send message, which will be text.of the skill name dot to uppercase, followed by the level. And then a little dash just for separation, the exp value forward slash the exp to level, and then just exp at the end. So it'll end up looking something like this, mining level 1 dash 100 out of 200 exp, something along those lines. And that will go ahead if we have more than one skill. For each one, it will show the name of the skill with the level, the current amount of experience, and the experience to level every time we run that command. And if that was all a success, we want to return command result dot success. And again, if this, for some reason, the instance of the source or the command source was not a player, it'll just completely skip all of this code and just return an empty command result telling us that it was not successful. With that done, we need to create our constructor, which will be public skills command. It'll take in a single argument, which will be the main plugin class. And while we're at it, create a couple of variables here for the main plugin class, and also the account manager. And within our constructor, we just want to set the plugin variable within this class to the plugin variable being passed in and set account manager equal to plugin.get account manager. And once we have that finished, we can navigate on over to our main plugin class and actually go about registering this command so we can use it within game. And the first thing we want to do in here is create our or create a private function that will handle all the creation and registering of commands. And we're just gonna call this private void because it's not returning anything. Create and register commands. And in order to create a command, we actually have to go about building it and it will be a command spec, name of the command, we'll call it skills command, is equal to command spec dot builder and there's a bunch of different stuff we're going to have here, such as the description. So dot description. This will be a text object, text dot of. And this is just the description of the command. You can put whatever you want in there. But this will display levels and experience amounts for skills. After that, if we want, we can have a permission. And the permission for this will be sponge skills dot command dot skills. Next, we want the executor dot executor. 
and this will be new skills command this and what this is whenever this command is run whenever this skills command is run it will call the execute function within whatever is passed in here in this case it will call the execute function within our skills command class so it will go about running all the code within here with that we can just do dot build in order to build the whole entire thing and once that is done we want to go and actually register the command so we can use it within game so to do this we use game dot git command manager dot register and this will take in a couple of arguments the main plugin class which is just this the command itself which is skills command and then any and all aliases so we can do skills so we can do something like this slash skills in order to run the command or if we want we can make it even simpler by having another alias for it which will be s so we can run the same command by just doing slash s instead of doing something like slash skills and lastly we want this function to be run within our init function just right at the top so whenever the plugin is initialized it will create and register the command so we can use them within game and now that we have that done we can build the plugin and when it is done building we can head on into game and test out our newly created skills command once we're in game if we type slash skills in chat what we will be presented with is all the skills and their level and experience values as you can see along with the amount of experience needed to reach the next level which in this case is 300. So when we go about adding more skills there'll be more information there but since we only have the one it's only going to display information for the one. With all that working properly that will conclude this episode so if this video was helpful to you please hit that like button and as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.